Hello everyone. So welcome to Italia, the Embassy of Italy in Jakarta. So this session is actually uh, we would like to discover about the opportunity to study in Italy and also what kind of scholarship that you can afford to study in Italy. So uh, before we start, let me try to give you our presentations material so you can uh, focus on the materials and then if you have any questions, just um, inform me the questions. So still working. Okay, I hope everyone uh, can see the presentation. So let's start. Before I start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Romero, the representative of Unitalia in Indonesia. So we are actually the consortium at the Center for Academic Promotions and Orientations to study in Italy. Okay, then you can see here. I want to inform you general information, uh, statistic data of Italy itself. So Italy, the only one, the country that having the most UNESCO heritage site. So the recognition is coming from UNESCO. You can see there, uh, there are 58 heritage sites for the UNESCO. And Italy, one of the G8 countries. And in Italy, Maybe some of you know that uh, we have the oldest European university called Università di Bologna, founded in um, 1088. So again, Italy, one of the most visitors yearly coming to Italy. So the tourists coming here more than 65 million in a year. Next. So what is Unitalia and where is Unitalia itself? So uh, basically here, uh, our headquarter is coming from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Italy. Uh, we call it as MIT in Italy. And we have five branches outside Italy itself. One is in Iran, the second one in India, the third one in PRC, People's Republic of China, and then the fourth one in Vietnam, and the last one here in Indonesia. In Indonesia itself and Vietnam, so here. Uh, in Indonesia, our office basically in the Embassy of Italy in Jakarta, in Menteng, and also it uh, it, 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 it established, I mean like uh, it established in Indonesia in 2012, so 2012, same, uh, same year with the Vietnam itself. So originally we, we based 10 years already here in Indonesia. And what kind of tutors that Unitalia itself give to the students? So we have three pillars here coming from orientations, giving you important information, and also helping students. The first one starting from the applications until their visa applications. So here we give you the three pillars here, the main three pillars, in order to help you to study in Italy. Again, now we talk about the riches of Italian education. So some of you maybe didn't familiar, didn't have any information, or maybe some of you just like uh, first time, uh, first time here to 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 get information in order to study in Italy. So the riches of Italian education itself come from, you can see that majors have been listed here, architecture, design, science, engineering, advanced technology, economic management, agriculture, humanities, restoration and preservation of cultural heritage, music and art. So maybe the others, some of these majors, uh, it actually they accept and they open up globally in English. So don't worry, some of you, if you're interested to study in Italy. Now, next, we're talking about the Italian higher education system. Okay. We divide it into two here. Okay, you can see. Um, the first one, I want to focus on university level. And then the second one, 
higher education for music and art. So in Italy, we divide it into two divisions here. Okay, now the other system, maybe you can check here and then you can see a uh, bachelor degree, we call it as laurea, you will get 180 easy days. What is easy days itself? Easy days means European credit transfers, uh, uh, the Euro credit is implemented in the university, and then continue to master degree level, we call it as laurea magistrale. You will get 120 easy days. So every year in, in Italy, you will get 60 credits to pass and continue to the second year. So again, the duration for bachelor will be three years, and then for master will be two years. And again, again for master degree, we divide it into two divisions here: master universitario. Uh, primo livello or first level, and then master universitario, second livello or second level. Uh, the difference here for the first level, the master degree, it, uh, it will be one year program, or we call it as master academica. And for the second level, it, it was general master degree, means the durations will be two years programs. And then continue to PhD level, we call it as Dottorato di Ricerca. The durations will be generally three years programs, and then you will get 180 ECTs. Next, here we're talking about public university and private university. So because we base uh, government levels in Italy, the, we have 68 public universities recognized by the Ministry of Education there and then 19 private universities. And then you can see here the name list of university levels. Maybe some of you uh, recognize uh, La Sapienza di Roma, Politecnico di Milano, Bocconi, and the other university there. And then continue to AFAM institutions or the second divisions of Higher education, we call it APAM. It means the higher education for music and arts. So the government there recognized there are 132 APAM institutions that are recognized by the government of Italy. So some of you interested in, in drama, dance, music, art, and other things. So you can choose Italy as your one of uh, education destination country to study there. Next, this is, uh, these are the main reasons why you study in Italy. Coming from the excellences, um, professionality, labor markets, flexibility, scholarship. Again, I will focus on scholarship later. And then you get opportunity to get part-time job there. And then remember, life, quality, living in Italy. It was the main reasons uh, why you study in Italy. Next. Okay, now we continue for entrepreneurship uh, skills. Again, there are 4 million small medium enterprises that have a high quality innovations for entrepreneur. And then again, university and local government in Italy fully support and active in giving contributions for business development. So some university, even public or private, they have incubators and they have also uh, accelerators to, to support again regarding for entrepreneurs. So some of you that have entrepreneurship skills, you can choose Italy to, start, uh, to come and study there. Now we break out, yeah? We are focusing on uh, the reasons why you study in Italy. The first one, quality, innovations and traditions. Again, the quality of teaching in Italy itself, they open globally and also some university have been recognized by US, uh, sorry, by QS World University ranking and also Italian higher education recognized in Europe and the world as the center of excellence in research and training. Okay, continue. The second reason is quality regarding top level English courses. 
Again, almost 700 courses entirely taught in English. Italy already opened globally. Some of the uh, the majors that opened entirely in English, uh, the course of management and economy, science, engineering and technology, architecture, design, medicine. Medicine means it was medical school in Italy. Again, Italy, one of the top 10 medical school in the world. For more information, you can check directly to um, the Ministry of Education's portal here, www.universitali.it. Next, tuition fee. This is unique, one of the unique things of uh, tuition fee in Italy. Some public university, they didn't have standard tuition fee. I mean, um, every student had to submit their financial support, so every student has different tuition fee. Again, you can study in Italy based on your financial in your family. And again, Italian University offered a super affordable tuition fee in a year, starting for 100 euro per year for public one, and then for the private university, it's starting like 8,000 euro per year. And again, several university apply flat tuition fee. Flat tuition fee means public university for the second level country they have their standardized a uh, maximum uh, flat tuition fee. And then for Indonesia, for example, flat tuition fee to study in Italy around 1,000 euro per year. Next, opportunity. Why you choose Italy or your, uh, uh, for your study destination here? Italy is the home of the greatest number of UNESCO heritage sites, again. Another opportunity, you will get part-time job during your study there, around uh, 20 hours per week, yeah, working as part-time job, and then residence permit. So after your graduation uh, in Italy, you will get extended one year to, uh, to stay in Italy in order to look for job after your graduation. And scholarship opportunity. So now focus for your scholarship, yeah. So in Italy, we have four scholarship opportunity for non-EU citizens. Non-EU citizen means international students to study in Italy. The first one, the scholarship issued by higher education itself means um, merit-based scholarship issued by the university. And then continue the second one, right to study scholarship program means the scholarship coming from local government or local regions in Italy. And the third one, the favorite one, might scholarship or uh, the scholarship coming from MOPA, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Italy. And then the last one, the most prestigious one, impression talent in Italy scholarship. Okay. Now we, we discuss one by one for the scholarship itself, yeah? The, the first scholarship coming from higher education institutions, the uh, institution means a merit-based scholarship issued by university. For example, Polymi, they have silver gold platinum scholarship, and then La Sapienza Roma, they have their own scholarship. To Polito means scholarship coming from Politecnico di Polito. And then UNIBU Action 1 and 2 coming from Universita di Bologna. Other university has their own product of, uh, to give merit-based scholarship for international students. Kindly double check the official website of the university and then uh, read carefully how to apply for this scholarship issued by the university. Next, we continue regional scholarship issued by local government in Italy. For example, uh, we have various um, governments in Italy like Lombardy, Lombardy region in Milan, Pavia, and also Genova. And then in Roma, we call it as Lazio Disco, uh, Lazio regions in Roma. And then if you're familiar with Venezia, um, we, call it, we call it as Veneto Scholarship. Now, and the other, like for Bologna, we have Ergo in Emilia, Romagna, 
regions. So they have Ergo, Emilia, Romagna, Galapagos scholarship. So some of you please aware that the product of scholarship itself, the varieties of uh, scholarship itself is different. Every region they they have their own uh, regulations for the scholarship. Lombardy region different from Lazio regions. Lazio different from Veneto regions, and etc. Now we continue the third one coming from MOPA, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, or general, uh, generally people call as MAIGES. Everyone, uh, we have uh, edge limit here for MAIGES scholarship. Um, the, uh, the maximum one will be 28 years old. And then also for PhD, we have also age limit and also what kind of benefit that you will get for this one. You will get 900 euro per month and then we cover only nine months in a year. So you can, um, you will get like around 8,000 euro per year. And then you will get health insurance covered by the government and then you will get tuition fee waiver. For more information, coming directly to www.studyinitaly.s3.it. And then the last one, Invest Your Talent Scholarship. This scholarship offered only for master degree level. And then we have age limit here. The maximum age will be 26 years old. And then what kind of benefit they will get for this scholarship? You will get around 8,000 euro per year plus on job training in Italian brand company. You know, Italian brand com uh, company, one of the most prestigious luxury company in the world. And then we only cover in these five majors here, engineering, advanced technology, architecture, design, economic, and management. Other than these five majors, we cannot cover you for your uh, for this investor talent scholarship. This one, the benefit for the investor talent awardee, you will get Italian language course and then scholarship more than eight thousand euro per year, and then plus on job training internship in Italian brand company, and other the uh, other the other one helping hand support means. In university, there is department to help students support for this uh, invest your talent scholarship. Now, um, basically for uh, in Indonesia, so we have like uh, MOU government scholarship from Italian government and uh, Indonesia. So we have products here, LPDP scholarship, ISMA scholarship, and IPOSMA uh, scholarship. But again, this one only for Indonesia. And if you're coming from ASEAN countries, you can check uh, uh, your government if there's opportunity of your uh, governments that having collaboration MOU with Italian governments. Okay, this one only for Indonesia, LPDP scholarship. We have nine Italian uh, university corporate with LPDP scholarship and then ISMA we have uh, three Italian university that cover uh, fully funded by Indonesian government to study in Italy and remember this uh, this point I would like to discuss about the Chiarazione di Valore or in English we call it declarations of failure if you come and study in Italy Please be aware regarding this letter. What is the uh, declaration of value? Okay, it, declaration of value or the OV itself, it was a letter issued by the Embassy of Italy worldwide in order to recognize your higher education. We only need two documents here, your certificate and transcript. Uh, in Indonesia, before you submit uh, to apply the DOP itself, your documents means a uh, bachelor or high school certificate and transcript need to be legalized uh, by two ministries here. Uh, the first one, the Ministry of Justice and Human Rights and continue Minister of Foreign Affairs in Indonesia. But I don't know uh, other ASEAN countries, again, double 
Palin Embassy in your country in order to uh, how to get the DOB itself. Why declaration uh, of value is very important because without the OP, without declaration of value, the university in Italy will drop out the students because this letter very criti uh, critical letter and very needed documents before you start to study in Italy. And then this is the example of uh, the DOP itself. One, let, uh, one page letter issued by the Embassy of Italy worldwide. And then we check directly your data there. And then the Chiara means declare uh, the whole everything information of your higher education. Now, I would like to summarize five pieces to study in Italy. Please uh, check. One portal to check the whole things, the whole things of um, education in Italy, which means www.universitali.it, and then visit the official website of the university, and then check how to apply and upload documents, everything application in online, and do pre-enrollment again to Universitali portal, then continue to prepare your visa. And again, this is the summarize that we do here in Indonesia, especially the Embassy of Italy in Jakarta. Again, after you get LOA from one of the Italian higher education, check these five steps before your visa applications, which means preparing your DOP and then do pre-enrollment directly to physical pre-enrollment here the Embassy in Jakarta and do enrollment to Italian uh, uh, your university destinations and continue visa applications. And again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to our social media. We have email here, Facebook, uh, Facebook fan page, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and also official website. But again, continue uh, because basically uh, I'm based in Jakarta. So I coming from the Embassy of Italy in Jakarta, you can drop us email and then you can reach me directly to WhatsApp number or reach, uh, reach on Italia by social media. Yeah. And again, that's all about study in Italy. Grazie a tutti. Thank you everyone. And again, uh, I would like to inform, we have a uh, live chat sessions starting 4 p.m. Jakarta and Bangkok times and yeah two hours live chat if you like uh, but to get closer to communicate with Unitalia in order to discuss study in Italy just uh, coming to our live chat starting 4 p.m. Jakarta times thank you everyone that's all from me and I'll see you to come and study in Italy Regarding language required, uh, requirements to study in university in Italy. So if you focusing English um, uh, English programs, which means we need IELTS certificate, minimum band score 6.0. Okay, the question is coming from Sam. I hope Sam, uh, I answered your questions. Continue to raise that question. <laughs> Is there any uh, master scholarship radio chemistry in Italy? Can you give some recommendation where to apply? Okay, regarding uh, for chemistry level, actually some public and also private university having a chemistry majors, but radio chemistry, this is uh, to be honest, um, the first time I heard radio chemistry because I didn't have any background in chemistry, uh, chemistry level. So maybe I need to double check and you can reach me to social media first. I need to double check uh, the Italian university and then I, uh, I give you some recommendation university to apply. And continue for, uh, to ask me questions. Okay, recommendation best university specialized in cultural studies, heritage, tourism, archaeology in Italy. Okay, for Abi. Maybe you can uh you can write or you you, you should remember uh what I'm, the recommendation that I told you here 
So focusing on La Sapienza Roma for the cultural studies, social heritage, and tourism for the private university level, you can check IULM di Milano. And then some public university offer for the uh, cultural studies, you can check Universita di Padua or um, Padua University and also Capos Caripenetia and also University uh, Universita di Milano or University in Milan. And I, okay, the last one, Unito, Universita di Torino. I hope uh, I answer uh, your questions, Abi. Continue to Jericho questions. What are the qualifications to apply part-time job? Okay, nice question from Jericho. If you're willing to apply part-time job during your study program in Italy, we need your basic Italian language, at least A2 level or B1, uh, B1 level, because you need to understand that uh, to communicate with Italian citizens and also others, uh, a part of English, yeah, a part of English communications, you need a uh, Italian language basic skill in order to, to get easier to get part of your here. Okay, questions coming from Almira. Is it only IELTS or Google also acceptable? Okay, uh, a part of IELTS. We accept TOEFL certificate, but TOEFL IBT, yeah, internet based uh, test. IBT. Three minutes left. Three minutes left. IBT uh, with the minimum, minimum, minimum score will be 85 score for the TOEFL IBT. I hope I answer your Almira questions. Continue to model questions. How the scholarship opportunity for PhD in psychology? Okay, for model. Uh, this is unique questions. For PhD level, actually, uh, we give you uh, budget research. I mean, like local university give you budget research. There is no scholarship because PhD level in Italy, it seems like faculty level. So the university covered around like 15,000 euros per year. And also recommendation for psychology things. Okay, for Mario Psychology, you need to apply Universita di Trento, Trento, and then the second one, Universita di Padua, or Padua University. Padua University and also Trento University for the psychology best major. And then the, the last one, Lupi questions. Where is the uh, education? system apart from other EU countries. Okay, for the lobby, uh, actually starting Bologna process, if you heard about Bologna process, coming Bologna process, the, the whole European member state already apply uh, European education system. So they, they also apply ECT system, European credit system, and then also, if you study in Italy, if you study in Spain, if you study in France, if you study in Sweden, actually, you all are a European students. And then you all graduated coming from EU. Okay, hello, Pia. I hope I answer your questions. I think that's all. All the, the questions coming from all, uh, from all of you that seeing these presentations. Thank you very much, everyone. And I'll see you uh, during live chat starting 4 p.m. If you're willing to know more about study in Italy. And then I want to greet you and thanks to you all. And I'll see you to come and study in Italy. Ciao, ciao, a tutti. Ciao. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you very much.